Hi, welcome back to the channel. Uh, today we're going to look at somewhat of a classic, uh, the Holograph Universe, published in 1991. In it, Michael Talbot explores the frontiers between science and mysticism. Through a synthesis of physics, neuroscience, psychology and philosophy, Talbot presents a radical theory that reality as we perceive it is not solid and separate, but interconnected and holographic. The idea of a holographic universe originated with the quantum physicist David Bohm and the neurophysiologist Carl Pribram. David Bohm introduced the idea as part of his interpretation of quantum physics. He proposed that the universe could be understood as a hologram where each part of the universe contains information about the whole. Bohm's book, Wholeness and the Implicate Order, came out in 1980 and focused on the idea of the implicate order, which is a foundational aspect of the holographic model. Since the publication of Michael Talbot's The Holographic Universe in 1991, the idea that the universe might have a holographic nature has gained traction. So Talbot's book played a crucial role in popularizing the concept. To understand the concept of a holographic universe, one must first grasp the basics of holography. One of the features that make holography possible is a phenomenon known as interference. Interference is the crisscrossing pattern that occurs when two or more waves ripple through each other. A piece of holographic film is composed of interference patterns. When the film is illuminated with laser light, a three-dimensional image appears in space. So basically you have all the information stored on a 2D surface and you are able to produce a three-dimensional image from that 2D surface. Also central to the holographic universe concept is the principle of interconnectedness derived from quantum physics and that interconnectedness is called quantum entanglement. Quantum entanglement suggests that particles can become linked and that the state of one particle can instantaneously affect the state of another regardless of the distance separating them. This phenomenon underpins the idea that the universe is a non-divided whole, where every part in it is interconnected. Physicist David Bohm and neuroscientist Carl Pribram are pivotal figures in Talbot's narrative. Bohm proposed that the tangible reality we observe is just the surface level of existence, akin to a holographic projection. Beneath this surface lies a deeper order of reality, which he terms the implicate order. In this view, the explicate order, or our observable universe, unfolds from the underlying layer, much like a hologram emerges from its film.
Your scientist Carl Prebram's work on the brain functioning complements Bohm's theories. Prebram suggested that the brain itself operates holographically when processing visual and sensory information. This theory emerged from his study of memory storage and retrieval, positing that memories are not localized but distributed throughout the brain in a manner analogous to holographic storage systems. So the synthesis of Bohm's and Prebram's ideas contributed to the broader concept of the holographic universe, a model that has intrigued physicists, neuroscientists and philosophers alike. Talbot draws connections between the holographic model and mystical experiences. Mystics from various traditions have long described the universe in terms that mirrors the holographic principle, emphasizing oneness and the illusory nature of physical separation. This convergence suggests that what we consider mystical or spiritual may be intrinsic to the universe's fabric and not paranormal at all. Talbot argues that these phenomena are not supernatural but rather natural outcomes of a holographic universe. So by transcending the limits of conventional science, we can begin to understand and integrate these experiences into our worldview. And here is where I see part of the value of Talbot's book. He collects many experiential and experimental accounts and links them to the concept of the holographic universe. This comparison in itself allows you to just broaden your own horizon. Some of these stories sound too fantastical to be true at first, but when you think about them and let things sink in a little bit, they actually become realistic. The book is loaded with names and references that you can investigate further if you're interested. One of the most profound implications of the holographic universe is the challenge it poses to the notion of separateness. If reality is fundamentally holographic, the distinctions we draw between past and present, here and there, or me and you are merely artificial. Taking such a perspective invites a radical re-evaluation of how we interact with the world and each other emphasizing unity over division. All of a sudden we are able to explain phenomena such as telepathy, precognition, out-of-body experiences, hypnosis, remote viewing, psychokinesis or past life recall. A significant portion of the book discusses the role of consciousness or the mind in healing. The placebo effect, for example, demonstrates the mind's capacity to affect the body in measurable ways. In a holographic universe, mental and physical realms are not separate, but are deeply interconnected, suggesting that our beliefs and thoughts can influence our physical reality. This gives sick people the chance to influence their healing process. The book provides accounts of such techniques and a bunch of case studies. Talbot highlights various practices such as meditation and visualization that can harness the mind's power to influence the physical world. These practices underscore the potential for personal and collective transformation within the holographic paradigm. 
By aligning our mental processes with the deeper order of the universe, we can affect profound changes in our own lives and the world around us. If you are interested in such practices, check out my video on the CIA report and on Robert Monroe. In it, I talk about the gateway process, which is, you know, one way to expand your consciousness. Talbot's book is important because it serves as a bridge between complex scientific theories and the general public, sparking interest in the holographic model among non-scientists. It combined quantum physics with spiritual and paranormal experiences, offering a unique theory of reality that resonates with a wide audience. The impact of the holographic universe can be seen in the way it inspired subsequent authors to explore and expand upon the idea that the universe operates in ways that transcend traditional materialistic views. The significance of Talbot's work lies not only in the content, but in its approach to synthesis, presenting a vision of reality that challenges conventional perspectives and invites readers to consider the interconnectedness of all things. As science advances and more discoveries are made, especially in quantum physics, the idea proposed by Talbot and others continue to influence both scientific inquiry and philosophical thought. I put two links in the description box that you might be interested in. Do check those out. I hope this information was helpful and I will see you in my next video.